Chaz here and we're going to do another basic staff spinning tutorial. This time it's going to be on uh, a figure of eight switching hands on either side. I don't know whether it's got a proper name, um, but that's kind of a working title for the moment. Prerequisites for this are a forwards figure of eight and a rotor. If you don't know what either of those are, you can check out the tutorials here and here. Go and practice those first learn those moves and then come back. For those of you who can already do those moves, this is what this move looks like. From another angle. So, notice we're doing a forwards figure of eight in wheel plane here. And the figure of eights are changing hands by way of a rotor at your side. Now in the rotor tutorial we only practice the rotor in wall plane. So it's probably worth you practicing a rotor in wheel plane as well. As it's a little bit more awkward, but it shouldn't be too difficult for you. Okay, so to start off with, again we're going to start just like we did with the forwards figure of eight. Staff pointing forwards in front of you this angle, pointing forwards in front of you with the thumb end in front. The staff's going to swing down and across your body onto the other side. And then you're going to keep turning the staff and just like as the rotor, when we get to this position, palm up, staff vertical and you can't really turn your hand any more on this side of your body. The other hand, the left hand in this case, is going to come underneath, grab just like we did in the rotor take over from the right, let the staff spin round, so again the thumb end now in your left hand is pointing forwards and as it comes down it switches sides of your body and then we repeat the motion on the other side of the body, so again the staff turns round all the way to vertical where you're kind of locked, right hand comes underneath, takes with the thumb again, let go with the left and we're back to where we started. So, to show you from this angle, thumb end pointing forwards, starts off by coming down and across your body, rotates all the way around to vertical here, left hand underneath, takes over from the right, staff continues to spin into your palm, thumb end is now in front, and as it comes down, it comes across your body, and again on this side, turn around to vertical so the palms up and you can't really go any further without tying yourself in a knot. Right hand underneath takes over from the left back round to the start position. Will help in this move if you are getting prepared with the hand that currently doesn't have the staff in. So as I'm swinging down this way as soon as my arm crosses my body here my other hand is going to come underneath. The same on the other side. See my arm is already crossed and I'm ready to take the staff. This will allow you to spin a bit quicker while still maintaining control. Okay, so we've done this forwards. Now of course, like every staff spinning move, there is a reverse direction as well, so it's important to learn moves in both hands, but with this one we're switching hands anyway, so that's irrelevant, but also in both directions. So, we'll start the, figure, the reverse figure of eight just like we did in the tutorial, with your arm crossed over your body. The little finger end, which is pointing forwards, my palm is down, the little finger ends over here, little finger, little finger end, it's going to, staff is going to rotate upwards and come across your body. And again, just like before, we're going to rotate it round until your hand can't really go any further. Palm is up, staff is gripped with your thumb. The other hand comes underneath, grabs hold of the staff, takes over, keep it spinning on this side of your body until the little finger end is pointing forwards again, and then as it comes up, you switch sides, rotate all the way around, 
hand underneath, grab the staff, and we're back to where we started. So from this angle, my arm is crossed, palm facing down, little finger end near the front. Little finger end rotates upwards and across your body. Let the staff continue to turn on this side of your body until you get stuck here. Other hand left in this case, underneath, takes the staff as we did in the rotor. Left hand takes over, back round so the little finger end is now pointing forwards again. And as it comes up, over to the other side of your body, the staff continues to turn until you get stuck here. Other hand underneath, right hand takes over, and we're back to where we started. And you can do this continually, continuously, like so. Okay, if you're having trouble with this, it can help to doing either forwards or reverse. As you cross over and you're preparing to take with the other hand, you can always put an extra couple of spins in a wheel plane rotor here just to get your brain sorted and figure out what's going on and then come over to the other side. Do the same over here, and taking with your right again. And then as you get more comfortable, you can reduce the number of spins in your wheel plane rotor and get it happening smooth. You might also notice that as we did the forwards figure of eight, as we switch hands, the staff, the hand that is carrying the staff has come to my opposite side of my body. So the right hand, the staff's on the right hand, but it's on the left hand side of my body when we switch. Whereas with the reverse, as the staff comes over, the staff's in my right hand, but it's on the right hand side of my body when we switch. There's also some other variations of this uh, figure of eight switching motion pattern. Um, where with the forwards, you don't switch on the opposite side of your body, so right on the left. Rather, you switch on the same side. This involves more of a hand wrap over the little finger end of your hand as it wraps over your hand. You take it with your right. very very similar uh, you're just switching hands on the other side of your body the same works with the reverse as well where we were switching hands see staff in the left hand and we're switching hands on the left hand side instead we can switch hands so starts in the right hand but it's on the left hand side of my body again we've got this funny hand wrap roll over the back there personally I don't use those last two variations so much because they're a little bit awkward but it can be nice to switch it up in your sequences um, so they're there for you to play with as well again thanks very much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my blog uh, and i hope to see you next time thank you bye, -bye.